Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this ARC removable extreme off-road swing-up trailer jack. Uh, this is a very rugged jack that is equipped to handle just about anything from moving your boat trailers to accompanying you on your off-road adventures. It does have a sturdy steel construction, so it is going to be very durable and built to last. It is designed in Australia, so it's uh, designed to stand up to the rigors of the outback so you can trust it is going to work in just about any environment that you put it in. It's got a static load capacity of 1,650 pounds and a dynamic load capacity of 1,100 pounds. Uh, it is a bolt-on installation. They do include the hardware that you're going to need to bolt this onto trailer tongue from 3 inches to 6 inches tall. It's got this quick release pin that will allow you to quickly adjust the trailer jack position uh, so you can rotate it up. Now obviously once you have it bolted on, uh, rotating that, you're going to be rotating the jack instead of the bracket itself. But that will allow you to uh, stow the jack up along the trailer tongue for travel and then you can move it back down to the upright position for use. Uh, you can also Completely remove it and take the jack off of your trailer so you can store it away in a truck or a trailer cab, something along those lines uh, to protect it from the weather and theft. Uh, you can also replace this pin with a locking pin that is sold separately uh, so that you can add a little bit of extra safety to it. This is a 5 8 inch diameter pin. It's about 3 and 5 8 of an inch long. Uh, so if that helps you find the locking pin, that would replace this. And just to give it a little extra security because it can be removed, you wouldn't want someone to come along and take off with your jack. Uh, this does have uh, thick walled uh, square tubing that is going to be precision machined to limit your play in between the inner and outer tubes. Of course, we do have this black powder coat finish to help resist rust and corrosion. And uh, our dual steel wheels here do have an off-road rubber tire that's going to provide increased traction and maneuverability, so uh, much better than most of the, uh, the wheels on trailer jacks, especially the ones that come with your trailer, just the hard plastic. Uh, these are going to allow you to run through mud or over sharp rocks without getting stuck or damaged. Uh, these are 8 inches in diameter, and they're 2 inches wide. And they do uh, lock into place when stowed to provide clearance and to prevent damage during travel. We do have our easy grip handle here that's going to allow us to drop the entire jack tube down for a quick adjustment uh, so we don't have to have any blocks or drop legs. Uh, this does have the four height adjustment settings along here so that we can uh, very quickly and easily position it where we need to. That's going to help reduce our cranking time and effort. So when we have it completely retracted, if I can pull this out far enough without having it installed, give you that view of that retracted height. As you can see, those are some very strong uh, springs there, keeping that in place. And when we have it fully retracted like this, our bracket height is going to be about 12 inches. Our tube adjustment with those four height settings is going to be a little uh, over seven and a half inches of adjustment. And then when we start cranking, our usable lift or the screw travel is going to be about 10 inches. So our total travel comes out to about 17 and 11 sixteenths. So uh, from our 12 inch retracted height, we're going to have an extended bracket height of 29 and about 5 eighths of an inch. Uh, keep in mind, you're only going to be able to be up 23 and a half inches uh, if you're moving the trailer uh, so that uh, overall 29 and 5 eighths is just when it's uh, going to be sitting in place. The sidewind handle crank here is going to be very easy to remove for storage. It is magnetized uh, so that we can make sure that it's going to stay in place while we're using it. But then when we're ready to take it off, we can just pop it off and store it separately or nearby uh, to uh, make sure that it fits in the compartment that we want it to and that sort of thing. So overall, a really nice option here, very rugged jack. Uh, I think it's going to hold up in just about any environment that you take it in. Uh, some of our customers have talked about how they've used it, and it's uh, definitely been a major upgrade over the jack that came with their trailer. 
uh, and having that ability to remove it, take it off if you get in a situation uh, where it's uh, binding or uh, causing you not to be able to maneuver uh, properly, you can easily take it off and store it away, uh, make sure that it's going to be safe. So really nice option here. Uh, I do want to point out here at the top, we do have our grease zerk so that we can keep everything uh, well lubricated. So it is going to be very easy to maintain. Uh, if you were to take it in the salt water, uh, do recommend, you know, uh, hosing it off with some fresh water and then drying it off to help prevent rust. Uh, but overall, just a really rugged uh, jack that's going to help uh, as you're taking your trailer in all sorts of environments. So that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.